Okay. Hey, hey, welcome to today's video. We're picking my June TBR. Last month I picked my TBR all by myself. I just didn't go by any prompt or anything. And I read every single book with over a week left of the month. So is that the ideal way to do a TBR? Yes. Are we doing that? No. <laughs> I'm going back to my prompts just because I have some left over in here. And I would really like to just do another prompt video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. The last few months I've been picking my TBR by colors, but I don't feel like I have too many colorful books left. So we're going back to the prompts. OG way of picking TBRs. Not really. I guess that would be just picking them yourself. Anyway, I think I'm going to pick six prompts. That's what I usually do. And we'll see what we get. I don't remember anything that's in here. Our first prompt... Bro, why is this gotta be the first one? <sighs> a book that is over 500 pages. Okay, actually, no, this is good. This is good because A Court of Silver Flames. I was actually gonna read this in May because I'm doing spoiler, like full spoiler reading vlogs for this series. And I didn't. I already have my tabs on here. It's ready to go. Uh, this is definitely over 500 pages. It's about 700 30 i think and i just want to finish the series i want to get away from it that one's not as bad as i thought it was going to be because i was expecting to read this soon anyway okay book number one prompt two the newest book on the shelf Ooh, okay oh the newest book on the shelf is Noctacadia. I hope I'm saying that right. It's by Carrie Lake. This is my special edition book from Lit Haven Booktique. I had no idea what this book was about. I didn't even know this book was coming out, but I got an Instagram ad for this, I believe, or it was on my Explore page or something. I just loved the way it looked, and I was like, ooh, what's that book about? This is a dark academia fantasy, I guess, like a gothic fantasy, but this is my special edition. It's very, very beautiful. I'm very excited to read this. Even though it's June and I should be reading summer books, I'm all for like a dark academia academia gothic setting because I don't think I have any summer books on my TBR. I am super stoked to be getting to this one because it, I just I want to know what it's about. Everything about it intrigues me. Yeah we'll see how that one goes. So that is book number two. Prompt number three. Prompt number three is a thriller slash a mystery. We're really just not feeling these summer vibes at all. Thriller slash mystery. I have not many. I'm not a very big thriller slash mystery person. I do have Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a YA mystery thriller. This is also taking place in an academy, so it's kind of school vibes. This is starting a series though, so we will think about this one. I do have The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. This is fully a mystery thriller. I got this from a little free library, and that's pretty much all I know. I'm assuming there's a girl in the window. Oh wait, no, this is the one that reminded me of that Alfred Hitchcock movie rear window is that what it's called so this one does seem interesting it's a standalone i feel like that's always good i do have fairy tale by stephen king i have been wanting to read this one for a while too but since this one is kind of longer i don't know if i want to do that with these two books because i believe noctacadia is over 500 pages i do want to get to it soon but i just feel like it's not the right time you know like i'm not i'm not feeling it and other than that i don't really think i have any thrillers or mysteries i have is one for my enemy a thriller or a mystery. I know it's like Romeo and Juliet themed, but I don't know if it's more just like fantasy with a mystery element in it. I think I'm gonna go with the woman in the window. I would like to start Truly Devious, but I'm in the middle of the natural series too, so I kind of want to finish that like YA mystery series before I get into another one. So I'm gonna put this off. I am excited for this. This is a book that I always forget that I have, but I think it will be good. I am just gonna put this off for a little longer. It's okay, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna pick The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. We have our main character, Anna. She lives alone in her New York City home and she's not able to go outside. She just spends her days drinking wine, spying on her neighbors, watching movies, <laughs> you know, the casual things. And then a family moves in across the way and they seem like a perfect family, but I guess that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on that she sees. I'm actually very excited for this now. I haven't read a quick thriller or mystery in a very long time. So that is book three. Book four, or prompt four. Let's shake them up. A YA book. I feel like I have many of those. I like YA. Okay, let's see. We have Gallant by V. Schwab. We have I'll Give You the Sun. I believe that's YA. I'm not entirely sure. Firekeeper's Daughter's YA. This was on my April TBR, I think, and I never read it, so I probably should. We will take that out because this is more of a fantasy. So this is an option. The Reckless series is. Radio Silence is a YA. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Dance of Thieves and Bow of Thieves. Okay, I could pick Dance of Thieves or Six of Crows. I don't know which duology I want to read first. Probably Six of Crows. Eh, I don't know. I do have Adore in the Dark, which is more of a recent purchase. This is Academy Vibes 2. It is a YA fantasy, and and I'm really intrigued by it, but I don't know if I want to do another school setting. I have Binding 13, which apparently is considered a YA 
beyond me. I haven't read it yet, but I know what's in that book and why it's considered a YA. I have no idea. When I'm feeling in this moment, I either want to go with Radio Silence or Firekeeper's Daughter. I think this one's going to be super cute. This one I think is just going to be really good anyway, but I think I want to go with Radio Silence just because in case maybe I go somewhere or something, just to have like a lighthearted read for June. This is the first book that I'm going to be reading by this author. And I'm super excited because I've heard great things about this author's works. This is about a podcast. We have Francis. She spends her time making fan art for this podcast called the university and then we have a lead i'm pretty sure that's how you say his name but he's known as a quiet kid he actually runs his podcast called the university but he goes by radio silence online so nobody knows who he is he doesn't show his true identity i think he sees like francis's fan art and then he sends her a message and they try to collaborate on this project or on the podcast they do a little thing together and then i think they become friends in real life or they figure out who each other is i think they go to school together too if i'm not mistaken it just sounds super cute and i'm excited for this one prompt five Okay, prompt number five is a book that I bought last year. This whole pile over here is out because I just bought that on my last book shopping trip. I believe I bought Zodiac Academy last year. I'm not even doing it. I'm not even doing that right now. I did buy Gallant last year, I think. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. I bought Malice last year. Should we do a big one? No, we shouldn't. This one, I believe. I did buy these last year. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't know, all of them. I guess we're just going with which one do I want to read. Which one will make me feel the best if I get it off my TBR? That is a question. I don't remember buying this, but if I did buy it, I know it was last year. I really want to read a book by Frederick Bachman too. This is kind of the only one calling to me. So I think we're going to go with Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This book is about a failed bank robbery. And I guess the robber takes this group of eight people hostage. And as they're held hostage, I think they're just talking to each other about their lives because what else do they have to do? It says these reluctant allies will reveal surprising truths about themselves and set in motion a chain of events so unexpected that even they can hardly explain what happens next. Anxious People is about enduring the power of friendship, forgiveness, and hope, the things that save us even in the most anxious of times. I have high hopes for this one. I was wanting to read this a few months ago, just never picked it up. I think now would be a good time and I'm very excited to read a book by this author finally. So that is number five. Last prompt. Prompt. Last prompt. Oh. This happens all the time when I do these videos. Two always come out at once. So I guess we're doing two more. Let's see what the first one is. Cause I can't just pick one and then not know what the other one is, you know? Like I gotta know what they both are. A paperback, my fave. Oh, love this one. I'm leaning towards Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I really wanna read a book by this author. Like so, so, so bad. As I'm currently filming this, it is May 28th. So I do have a few more days of May left. I was planning on reading this before May ended. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to it. So I think I might pick it for this just because I can roll it over into June. Either this one, or I do really wanna read it Wayward by Amelia Hart. Maybe my other prompt can pick <laughs> the book that I don't pick for this one. I just, I really wanna read this one, but I also really wanna read Nevernight. This is a book that every time I go into the store and I see it, I want to pick it up and I want to read it and I did it for the longest time. I have it now. I just feel like I need to do it. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this one. So this is about an assassin. So she's seeking vengeance against the powers that destroyed her family. So she's a daughter of an executed traitor and she's barely able to escape her father's failed rebellion with her life. So she's alone. She wanders into the city and then she kind of joins this group of assassins, I think, and they have to go through like a little bit of trials or whatever in their school setting, I guess. This is part of a trilogy and whoa, the word's small. I'm not even gonna think about it twice, we're just gonna pick this one. Book seven, prompt seven. What's the last one gonna be? Oh, it's kinda long. Why didn't I write these? A book I'm not sure that I will enjoy. Okay, I don't know. I mean, I buy these for a reason. I'm trying to go with something super small. You know what? No, I know I'm not doing this just because it is a shorter book, but I am doing this because I'm not sure that I'll enjoy this. This is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This is a dark romance, like a dark mafia romance. Not sure if I'm into mafia romance and I don't really have too much of a good history with dark romance. I haven't read a lot. I'm still like up in the air about whether or not I like it. I have read The Sinner's Duet by Sophie Lark and it was okay. I really liked the first book. The second one, I just feel like it was kind of unnecessary. But yeah, this is definitely a book that I don't know if I'm gonna like. I have been eyeing this series for a while. I think there's six books so it is quite the long series but I mean these books are pretty short. I'm hoping I do like this series but I just am unsure about it. So I think this book will fit this prompt perfectly actually because I feel like if I don't pick it for this and I don't read it in June I'll probably just keep putting it off and I feel like I've done that with enough of these books already. What better time than now? All right so that is my last book. Also I will say that Not in Love by Ella Hazelwood is coming out. That is my most anticipated release of the year. I will be doing a full reading vlog on that. Literally the second it comes in the mail I'm opening it and I'm starting that book. <laughs> that will be another read in June. Hopefully we'll get to all of these. I don't know. I'm kind of a little skeptical 
about these books. I think I'm intimidated by them. As soon as I get A Court of Silver Flames out of the way, I think I'll be good. Just to do a little recap, I know this video was quick, but we have a book that was over 500 pages going with A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. My most recent edition or my most recent book purchase. This was Noctacadia. Okay, wait. If I pre-ordered this, does it count? This was the latest one I got in the mail, but I technically bought it before a lot of these. Other you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about it. It's done. All right, then we have a thriller slash mystery, which is The Woman in the Cabin by A.J. Finn. Our YA book, which is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. A book that I bought last year, which is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. A paperback, Never Night by Jay Kristoff. And then lastly, a book that I'm not sure that I will enjoy is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. Those are all my seven. Thank you so much for watching this. I love these videos. I think they're super fun to do. Let me know what book you are most excited to get to in June. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, whatever that might be. I hope you have a great day and a great night, wherever it is you are and I will see you later. Bye.